Welcome to Ink and Inspirations. In this video, I'm going to show you a masculine card using embossing with craft ink. Here I've used some leaves on a card uh, with the Woodland Walk Designer Series paper and the base is Naturals Ivory and I've just pieced uh, two uh, prints there on the front. I'm using the Autumn Splendor uh, stamp set with these beautiful leaves and I'm going to be using chocolate chip uh, craft ink spot that I have to ink up these leaf images and stamp them on the Woodlawn Walk designer series paper in different prints in shades of green. I believe this um, is uh, garden green and a wild wasabi. And I'm going to stamp and then I'm going to use my clear embossing powder to sprinkle on the craft ink before it dries and this is just going to make that image more pronounced and uh, a little shiny uh, as you'll see on the project. Okay, I've got good coverage there and so I'm going to use a different print for these smaller leaves and again I'm just inking up the image with my craft ink spot and that's in chocolate chip and then choose uh, the different leaf pattern on this same print alright I'm going to sprinkle some more clear embossing powder and I really like using the stamped images on design, the designer series paper. It gives it a pretty patterned background, especially when you have some open spaces in your stamp. Now I'm going to use my heat tool to emboss these quickly, let it heat up a little bit. And then I'm going to, you see that melting, and I'm just moving it over the image until it's all melted. Okay, and you can see that you can really see the chocolate chip now that it's embossed and it's got a little bit of a shine to it as well. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut each of these leaves out to prepare them to put on the project on the card front. So I'm going to get this done and be back with you in just a minute. Okay, I've cut my leaves out and now I'm going to position them on the card. I've got the two smaller leaves um, that I'm going to use on the top and bottom on the underside. And I'm using my Tombow Mono Multi Liquid Glue, putting a little bit on the back and I'm going to adhere it directly to the designer paper. Now you could also use Stampin' Dimensionals to give it some dimension, but I want to uh, prepare this card for mailing, so um, I'm going to try to put as little dimension on it as I can. And then the larger leaf, I'm going to position it in the center there, kind of overlapping the other two leaves I've already adhered to the card front. And you've noticed that I have not put glue over the entire back of the leaf because I do want it to stand out a little bit from the base of the card. Now I'm going to take my 1 16th handheld punch and punch two little holes in the designer paper and through the card base. And then I'm going to use some natural hemp twine that I've already cut. And I'm going to kind of end up trimming these edges a little bit. I always have a little bit of a battle when I try to get this to go through such a little small hole. So I kind of trim it at an angle. It's still not working for me so I've got a little point there. Pull it through and then you'll see here in the back I'm going to use uh, my paper piercing tool to make that hole a little larger. Here again I'm trying to trim it. 
Now this hemp twine is made of several strands of fibers, so that's why I'm having a little bit of trouble getting it through that small hole. But like I said, I'm going to get my paper piercing tool, make the hole just a little bit larger, and it's going to go through easily. And then I'm just going to tie a bow on the front to just kind of anchor these leaf images to the card. Not literally, but just visually. And I think I've told you before, I really don't hesitate putting ribbon or fibers on a masculine card because it's just um, the colors I've chosen and usually I like to choose a nature theme um, just I'm just uh, really biased to those stamp sets but um, I like to use those for my masculine cards here I've stamped thinking for of you from the teeny tiny wishes set punched with the word window punch and then backed with the modern label punch and I've also used, oh excuse my head there, I'm trying to get that on the card. Um, I've used these vintage trinkets there just to give it a little bit of um, accent and uh, a little bit of hardware to give it more of a masculine look. So if you have any questions, email me at lisa at inkandinspirations.com. Thanks for joining me. Visit my website and sign up for my mailing list so you can get my monthly newsletter. Thanks for watching.